publicity is concerned, rather. I like to keep people informed of everything they do. It's important. Publicity-wise, he tells everything about us, but our age. I wonder why he doesn't release that. Well, they don't even tell me that. You know, I guess we're pretty lucky because we get along well normally together. I mean, it's hard for three people that live together all the time to really dig each other and to get along, but we really do. Everything is like dip diplomatic and democratic and the majority rules and it keeps everything cool. But um, sometimes we have problems with this kid over here, Valerie. No, sometimes. No, oh, no, yes, we no, do. No. You know, girls, it's hard to find a guy that really blows your mind. And you just dig everything he does, like, like when he gives you that great big special hug and that <clears throat> heavy kiss. Girls, you know the kind. The kind that's in the wrong place at the wrong time and it really turns you on. Well, I had a guy like that. And then that time that happens to all of us, we had an argument. And like all, and I mean all us girls, I said some pretty dumb things like, like get lost. I don't want to see you anymore. But he was cool. He just stood there looking so hurt. And he said, if that's the way you want it, and he split. And I just stood there looking dumb and let that man walk right out of my life. And I've been as evil as a wet hen ever since. I told myself I wasn't going to sweat it. But I did. Oh, he was inside of me. And my thoughts, my dreams, every place I went, I saw his face. And my friends, they knew. I know they knew. And then one evening I was standing at the bus stop and I heard a voice behind me say, Hi, baby. Oh, I just fell all apart inside because I hadn't heard that voice in such a long time. I turned around and there he was, looking good. Oh, I just can't tell you how good that man looked to me. And as I stood there trying to maintain myself, he asked me if I had a few minutes. I really wanted to tell him that I had a lifetime, but I couldn't blow my cool. We stopped at a cozy little place. And I guess the shock of seeing him made me order a martini, because that's something that I've never done before. But I felt I needed something stronger than coffee to lean on. Oh, the music was soft. And the lights were low. And that drink had started going to my head. He hadn't said anything about us, so I knew it was my move. And it had to be now. I could feel my nerve building. I couldn't let him go, not this time. Not this time. So I took his hand, looked him straight into the eye, and I said, I said, I said, 